to track your changes to the data is essential for accurate data governance. Navigating to the data canvas, where we are provided automatic data lineage on every data source and transformation. Here you can see both the changes made to the data table. We have only worked with the text file, but the same capabilities are available for other data sources as well. Instead of relying on the supply file, we want to replace the data source with our Microsoft SQL Server, which contains the most up-to-date data. We can easily do this from the data canvas by clicking Replace Data. Next, we will create a new connection to the sales database on the Microsoft SQL Server. We are provided a view in which you can decide which tables and columns to analyze. When connecting to a database, there are three options for loading the data. Importing it, which brings the data into memory. On demand, which will import only the data that is specified, such as by a specific date range, which is useful for large data sets or to keep the data external, and in other words, in database analysis. In this case, we will import the entire data set as is not too large. Spotfire will match the columns of the same name, but as there are different naming conventions between the text file and the database, we can manually match as well. We see that the data canvas has been updated to reflect the new data source. If desired, we can add further data transformations that apply on load for use in the analysis. I noticed that the order date column was incorrectly configured as a string in the database. I can apply a change data type transformation to correct this to a date data type. Again, we are provided a preview to ensure we are getting the intended results. Now we have a visual indication that there's a data transformation being applied when the data is imported from the Microsoft SQL Server. Just as useful, we can click on the in-memory data table that is, the data table being used in the analysis, and we see that the two transformations that we applied while working with the text file still exist after we replace the data source. This saves time recreating any data transformations when replacing data sources.